This is lesson 7-2, which is multiplying polynomials. Our essential question is, how does multiplying polynomials compare to multiplying integers? Okay, so the first example is multiplying a monomial and a trinomial. So remember the prefix tells us how many terms. So a monomial means there's one term and a trinomial means there's three terms. So when you have one term times three terms, you're going to end up with three terms as well. So we're going to write this as negative 4x cubed times x squared plus 3x minus 4. So we're going to use the distributive property. So my first multiplication is these two terms. So I'm taking negative 4x cubed times x squared plus, then I'm going to take negative 4x cubed times 3x, then I'm going to take negative 4x cubed times negative 4. So notice I'm keeping that symbol, the minus symbol, as a negative in front of the 4. So now if I combine these, so remember when we're multiplying like bases, like the x's, we add the exponents. So this would be negative 4x to the 5th. This is going to be minus, I have a negative 4 times 3, so that would be 12x to the 4th power, because that would be like a 1. And then this would be plus, because it would be negative 4 times negative 4, 16x cubed. So that would be what I get when I distribute. Okay. So our next one is how is multiplying binomials like multiplying two-digit numbers? So we're going to multiply the expression 15 times 18. So what you might think about when you do that is saying 15 times 18, and then remember you have to do a placeholder after you do the 8 times everything, and then you put the placeholder, and then you do the 1. And that's complicated, and a lot of people don't know why you're doing that. So I'm going to show you a different way of multiplying. We can write that 15 is 10 and 5, 10 plus 5, and 18 is 10 plus 8. So I'm going to make a little table here. Oops. So I'm going to put my 10 plus 5 right here, and I'm going to put my 10 plus 8 right here. And I'm going to change my color. So for each of these boxes, I'm just going to do the multiplication. So I know 10 times 10 is 100. 10 times 8 is 80, 10 times 5 is 50, and 5 times 8 is 40. So now all I have to do is I take 100 plus 80 plus 50 plus 40. So 100 plus 80 plus 50 plus 40 is going to give me 270. So that's another way of multiplying. So that might help you in some cases, but we're going to use that same idea now to multiply x plus 5 times x plus 8. So I'm going to make a table, just like we just did, but this time instead of 10 plus 5 and 10 plus 8, I'm going to put x plus 5 and x plus 8. So now x times x we know is x squared x times 8 is 8x, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 8 is 40. So I would write this as x squared plus 8x plus 5x plus 40. Oops. Okay, and then I can combine those two middle terms because they're like terms. So this would be x squared plus 13x plus 40. So you can see the similarities, and this works in both cases. Okay, so now down below it says, what is the area of the green rectangle? So you can see that the length is 2x plus 1, and the width is x plus 3. So I'm going to do that again as a table. So we can say 2x plus 1 and x plus 3. 
I like to switch the color just so you can see that I'm multiplying here. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x. 1 times x is 1x. And 1 times 3 is 3. So this would be 2x squared. And then you can notice you'll start to get the pattern that I'm going to combine those two to make it 7x plus 3. That would be the area of the rectangle. Okay. So now the next one is how do you use distributive property to write rewrite 2x plus 4? So we can make a table. So it's kind of, this is giving you several different methods, and you're going to pick one that you like. So if you like the table method, use the table. If you, when you have a binomial times a binomial, so two terms times two terms, you can use something that we call FOIL. So FOIL stands for first outer, inner, and last. And it's a way to remember that you've gotten all four multiplications down from the two binomials. So I'm gonna color code this. So my first terms would be 2x times x. That would be my f. So that would be 2x times x would be 2x squared. Now we'll do blue for outer. Outer would be 2x times negative 5. Remember those negative signs, so that'd be negative 10x. That's outer. Then inner would be 4 times x, which is 4x. And last would be 4 times negative 5, which is minus 20. And then just like always, I would combine my like terms, so I get 2x squared. The negative 10x plus 4x would be minus 6x minus 20. So that's another way we can multiply. But if you like to make the table and set up the table, just to note, with this one, you have a negative. So if you were to put this, you'd put the 2x and the 4, and then you'd put x, and it would put negative 5. So if a term is minus a value, you'd want to put the negative with it when you're doing the table. Okay, and the last thing is how can you use a table to find the product of x squared plus 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 4? This is a trinomial and a binomial. So you can tell we have three terms times two terms. So when we multiply it out, we're going to have six terms before we simplify. So this one, again, they're suggesting a table. And it doesn't matter which one you put on the side and which one you put on the top, but I'm going to put the three terms on the top on this one. So I have x squared, 2x, negative 1. So notice I have that minus, so I'm keeping it with the 1. And then I have a 3x and a 4. Okay, so 3x times x squared is 3x cubed. 3x times 2x is 6x, 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x, 4 times x squared, 4x squared, 4 times 2x is 8x. Oh, you know what, I missed a squared there. Shio, 3x times 2x is 6x squared, whoops. And 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. So then we're going to have 3x cubed, and I'm going to kind of simplify as I go here. So that's the only cube. And then you'll notice here I have a 4x squared and a 6x squared. So that would become 10x squared. And then I have a 8x and a negative 3x. That would be 5x and then minus 4. So that's how we do a trinomial times a binomial. So again, the bigger the problem, I think the table or, tables are going to be easier. So just kind of a helpful hint as you're going through these problems, okay?